lovely imps. There has been a lot of hubbub lately about the woke mind virus, about liberal beers, about leftist beer companies, but I'm here to tell you today that there is not one, but two products, okay? Two separate products that can help you avoid the leftist mind virus encroaching into your beer. Demon Mama is here to help you out. So before we do anything else, I need you guys to feast your eyes on the only, okay? I'm talking the only unwoke beer that we have ever seen in America. There has never been a less woke beer than what you are about to lay eyes on. So, with no further ado, let's check out the ultra-right American dad beer ad. And then, I have a special, special offering for those of you who stick around in chat to learn how to avoid wokeness in your beer. Let's go, let's check this out. America's been drinking beer from a company that doesn't even know which restroom to use. What? They don't know which restroom to use? <laughs> Liberals. That's why I created Conservative Dad's Ultra Right. Did he bottle it in the bathroom? 100% woke free beer. Woke free! As conservatives, we're constantly getting hit in the face, left and right, by the woke mind virus. But the last place we want it is in our beer. If you know which bathroom to use, you know what beer you should be drinking. Stop giving money to woke corporations that hate our values. And to the rest of you woke corporations, stay the away from our kids. Buy yours online in 42 states at ultrarightbeer.com. Tastes like freedom. Tastes just like freedom. Not a single drop of woke in the ultra right beer. Not a single drop of woke. And you guys can enjoy, you guys can enjoy as much of the ultra woke beer as you want for the low, low price of $20. $20 for a six pack? Oh my God. Ultra conservative dads, ultra right, 100% woke free American beer costs 20 freaking dollars for a six pack plus shipping. Are you kidding me? And it only has 4% alcohol by volume in it? Look at that. 12 fluid ounces and only 4% alcohol by volume. What? on earth is going on what on earth is going on i can't even believe it and if you can't believe it i have the product for you today's sponsor is none other than the 100 percent america first patriots rights ultra conservative beer dad beer goggles Woke preventing 100% free woke beer, anti-woke beer goggles. For the low, low price of just $6.50, you can purchase these beer goggles. No matter how much woke beer you have to drink, if you, if you just can't afford $20 per case or per six pack of anti-woke beer, but you need to know that you're not getting any woke particles while you're getting drunk, if you can't stand a 4% weak watery beer, well then you need the ultra conservative American first dads protect our children, keep our guns, liberals stay away, anti-woke mind virus beer goggles. These goggles will ensure that you stay just as drunk and disorderly as you always are, no matter how much woke beer you're forced to consume by the liberal cucks of America. Don't be an American liberal cuck, okay? Keep your American uh, bald eagle, uh, American flag, uh, guns shooting in the air, SUVs, French fries, uh, stuffed crust pizza, um, 
what, what else is American? A baseball, uh, hot dogs, New York City, baby. Keep it all. No woke. All you got to do is wear these anti-woke goggles. That's it. That's all you got to do. It's that easy. You don't got to pay $20 per beer. And look, you get to look just as fashionable as you can possibly imagine. No one has ever looked as stylish as I do right now. S stay woke free, Americans. Yeehaw. Texas. Alabama. Uh, what are the states of the... We love all 50 states, but some of them we think are less woke than others. So there you go. Now, of course, uh, uh, those of you uh, who, are, uh, who are watching uh, might be a little bit baffled if you haven't been paying attention to the recent news. If you're wondering why I'm screaming about silly beer goggles and why this really, really weird guy is vine booming away your woke beers. Well, as it turns out, conservatives have been very, very angry about the all-American beer, Bud Light, okay? <laughs> um, Bud Light, as we all know, is, uh, is is about as American as it gets when as far as beer goes. You can't get much more American than Bud and Bud Light, okay? Now, of course, some some of you might be from a region where other beers are more popular. Like uh I don't know, maybe you're a PBR drinker, maybe you're a Pibba, maybe you like a good a good cold Pibba. Or uh, or maybe you're uh maybe you're from Canada and you drink that Molson Light, yeah? Maybe you're a frat boy and you enjoy some natty lights on the weekend. Well, a lot of people really like Bud Light. You're a Coors cuck? Okay, well, you're just... Guys, if you drink Coors, you are a cuck. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Coors is like, is the true cuckold's beer. Uh, oh, literally only cucks will drink Coors. That's just how it goes, okay? I I'm sorry. There's, uh, I, can't, I can't defend you, okay? If you're drinking Coors Light, you're a lost cause, all right? Sorry. A anything is better than that. Um, yeah. What would that make Stella Artois? Stella Artois? What are you, French? That's fucking liberal. Get that woke beer out of here. We don't speak French here. We speak English. We speak American. How is Bud better than Coors? I'll show you how Bud Light is better than Coors. Bud Light is better than Coors for the single reason that Bud Light went woke. That's right, everybody. I know some of you have heard the news and other of you have not, but Bud Light went woke. Now, before I tell you the tale of how Bud Light went woke, if you enjoyed that uh, goofy little opening segment and you like my content, smack the like button down below, press subscribe, and make sure you sign up for my Discord, discord.gg <laughs> discord forward slash demon mama. Uh, we have an awesome discord. We would love to have you become an imp today, and I'd love to have you here. So thanks uh, Smack that like button, but Bud Light went woke everybody. How did Bud Light go woke? Well uh, You might uh, you might think that it's because uh, they you know uh, Their CEO made a statement in support of, uh, of a liberal candidate or you might think that uh, you know Bud Light uh, uh, decided to completely change their entire uh, production process. Maybe their hiring process started incorporating, uh, uh, you know, trainings on, uh, uh, you know, critical race theory. Maybe, maybe Bud Light started uh, a diversity hiring program, and that's how Bud Light went woke. If you guessed any of those, you would be wrong. You see, the real way in which uh, Bud Light went woke is that they did a single promotion with a trans woman. I'm not kidding you. Uh, conservatives, and I'm gonna show you just how deranged the conservatives have become, but the conservatives have completely and utterly lost their minds because of one single cross promotion with a trans person. Now, 
Let me show you. I'm going to show you the shocking advertisement that has caused conservatives to completely lose their mind. Oh, and real quick, if you don't think that I'm being serious about conservatives completely losing their mind, let me just show you real quick. I'm just going to show you a couple of, uh, I'm going to show you a couple of little images here real quick, okay? Hold on. Let me just get these up for you so you guys can see how serious I'm being, okay? Ready? These, what you are about to witness is a series of photos showing a single newspaper, a single right-wing newspaper reporting on this incident, okay? And then you guys can judge for yourselves, okay? There you go. One day ago, one day ago, seven hours ago, three days ago, 20 hours ago, five days ago, one days ago, four days ago, three days ago, three days ago, one day ago, one day ago, two hours ago, three days ago, one week ago, one week ago, eight hours ago, five hours ago, one week ago. This is one right-wing newspaper, okay? Five hours ago, one day, five hours, just over and over. And th they have published an unbelievable, if I go onto YouTube right now and search Bud Light, you guys are gonna lose your minds, okay? I'm gonna do it right here. Just let's take a look. Let's do a little YouTube scroll, okay? Hold on, let me just take a look here together. New York Post, Fox Business, Fox News, News Center, Maine. They're just Bud Light to lose six billion and then issue an apology. Bud Light in shambles after Dylan Mulvaney endorsement, okay? So you guys must imagine that this must be the most woke that it's ever been. Well, let's watch for ourselves. Right. Let's but see. I got let's some... see what the horrifying woke nightmare really was, okay? Let's go. I got some Bud Lights for us. So I kept hearing about this thing called March Madness. And I thought we were all just having a hectic month, but it turns out it has something to do with sports. And I'm not sure exactly which sport, but either way, it's a cause to celebrate. This month, I celebrated my day 365 of womanhood and Bud Light sent me possibly the best gift ever, a can with my face on it. So this was it, okay? Now keep in mind, these aren't being sold in stores, okay? This is just a single custom can that Bud Light sent to a very, very popular influencer. Let's keep going. Check out my Instagram story to see how you can enjoy March Madness with Bud Light and maybe win some money too. Love ya! Cheers! Go team! Whatever team you love, I love too. Okay. Love ya. Okay. Break a leg. Woo! I got some That's it guys. My lovely imps, that is that is it. That is the wokeness, okay? That is the wokeness that has conservatives literally freaking out for somewhere around a week that they have been screaming about this, okay? And um I hate to tell you guys this, but it gets worse, okay? I want to show you just how far this has gone, okay? You guys thought that ultra conservative beer dad commercial was a goof? You guys ready to see something real cringe? You guys fucking ready? Watch this. I'm going to show you guys. Somebody published a anti-Bud Light rap. Okay, so I want to I want to play this for you real quick. We're going to listen to this together and react to it so you guys can understand just how far a lot of these conservative sources, how mad they were, okay? Let's listen in. Let's listen in. Beer cans are celebrating transgenderism. Bud Light has just released a commemorative can. His name oh, oh yeah, you can hear, by the way, that's a Tucker Carlson special. Tucker Carlson published an entire special on a single beer can that was sent to a trans influencer. Just, just so we keep this all in, in scope. It was Dylan Mulvaney. Fuck Bud Light! Fuck Bud Light! You can see them, they're burning the Bud Light cans, they're dumping out the Bud Light cans, they're wearing Trump apparel, and they're wearing hats that assert that Donald Trump is president, see? If you trans, just be trans in your bedroom. Can we keep the drag queens at the classroom? Teachers need guns in their classroom. Let's have a moment of- So, because Bud Light, let me just remind you, because Bud Light 
made a single can, they're going on a rant about gay people being gay in the bedroom and keeping drag queens out of schools, apparently. Let's go. I was for Nashville. Nashville. My body's talking, I need me an Evan. It's Trump 2024 fucking tight. Fuckin tight. I'm a brag boy, we know you lying. No, you lying. Red, white, and blue, the flag's right. flying. One nation under God is dying. Fuck but life. The nation. That's right, that line was the nation is dying. One nation under God is dying. Fuck but life. Sorry, can we hear that line again real quick? Let's listen to that line one more time real quick. Sung by the team, gender reassignment switching P's and V's. Fake news always spreading disease. Like two queers with HIV. Pray for the kids, they trying to eat them. People stop getting jabbed, now they trying to feed them. FDA playing with our food, can you believe them? 84 million Biden voters, I don't see. Guys, they're just mad. They're Guys, everybody, they're just, they're definitely, they just want to protect the kids, right? When they wrote that line about queer people spreading diseases and then made fun of people with HIV. They just want to protect the kids. They just care about their kids, right? They believe in, you know, it's just, it's about the kids, right? Am I right, guys? Oh, yeah. Fuck but life. Fuck but life. Like five years ago, the idea was you do your thing, we do our thing, we don't bother each other. That was called tolerance. You want to dress up like a woman? Fine. Now, the rules have changed completely. Worship me as I dress up like a woman or I'll crush you. Remember, guys, remember when Dylan Mulvaney, you guys, we, we just watched that Dylan Mulvaney ad. Do you guys remember when Dylan Mulvaney said, worship me or I'll crush you? That was my favorite part. Oh my God! I can we? I loved that part. Can I get it? Can I get a clip? I want. I want to have that. I want to have that for my soundboard. Oh wait, they literally just made it up because they're actually insane. These people are insane. Okay, conservatives are insane. American conservatives have completely lost their minds. They do not live in reality. There are literally hundreds of videos right now. Okay, making fun not just making fun of Bud Light. They're not just saying, ha ha, Bud Light, you suck. They're literally saying that the nation is falling apart because Bud Light made one beer can with a trans person on it. I just want you guys to understand. Now, another thing I should point out is that Dylan Mulvaney is like the least offensive trans person you could possibly imagine. Dylan Mulvaney is like a lifestyle influencer she doesn't do, she doesn't like go crazy for activism. She doesn't like make any huge statements. She's not like up, like going and protesting people. She's not punching people in the face. She just does like, like chill lifestyle vlog and fashion vlog things. But that's enough. Dylan Mulvaney just existing has been enough for conservatives to completely and utterly lose their minds. Dust Aeon says, they only made the can for her, right? Like, you can't just go buy any cans with her face. I mean, they may have made more, but at, to my knowledge, it's literally just a single personalized can. Like, uh, it's one of those things where, like, this happens all the time. Like, brands want to do something cool. They want to, like, they want to get a celebrity to give them a shout out. And so they send you something. You guys remember, this happened a bunch with the NFTs. Remember when the, um, the, like, uh, the Bored Ape Yacht Club would give away a free NFT to a celebrity? And then the celebrity would shout them out? That's like a, it's like a thing that happens all the time. Now, some, like the NFTs, are a little more concerning because they're also promoting like a, uh, a, a crappy get rich quick scam um, uh, to the degree that like the FTC had to be involved. But 
brands do this all the time. You've probably seen your favorite, you know, gaming streamers get like a little customized bottle of, a, or a little customized thing of G Fuel. It's like, it's not a big deal at all. And every single major conservative news source has been nonstop freaking out, insulting, screaming at uh, 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 Dylan Mulvaney for the last week or so. Just off the cuffs. The most, the most friendly, chill trans person got one beer can and these people lost their goddamn minds. But guess what? It gets even weirder, okay? Like, it gets even weirder. Let me show you real quick. Let me show you how weird it gets, okay? Because last night, that's right, this is a news story. I know that this has been happening for a while, but this thing just got more interesting. Because last night, Anheuser-Busch, the company that creates and, and, uh, and makes Bud Light, offered an apology. Now we're gonna read this apology real quick. An Anheuser, 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 not Anheuser, okay? So let's look at this apology from Anheuser Bush, okay? Here we go. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so everybody can read it together. Our responsibility to America. I'm sorry, I should read this with the, I, I need to put on my protective glasses, okay? Sorry, everybody. I need to put on my protective anti-woke glasses because I'm expecting a large dose of wokeness. So um, so let me get my anti-woke glasses on real quick again. I need to, re, I need to reapply the anti-woke. Be safe, everybody. Be careful out there. All right, here we go. Our responsibility to America As the CEO of a company founded in America's heartland more than 165 years ago, I am responsible for ensuring every consumer feels proud of the beer that we brew. We're honored to be part of the fabric of this country. Anheuser-Busch employs more than 18,000 people and our independent distributors employ an additional 47,000 valued colleagues. We have thousands of partners, millions of fans, and a proud history supporting our communities, the military, first responders, sports fans, and hardworking Americans everywhere. We never intended to be part of a discussion that divides people. We're in the business of bringing people together over a beer. My time serving this country taught me the importance of accountability and the values upon which America was founded. Freedom, hard work, and respect for one another. As CEO of Anheuser-Busch, I am focused on building and protecting our remarkable history and heritage. I care deeply about this country, this company, and our brands and partners. I spend much of my time traveling all across America, listening to and learning from our customers, distributors, and others. Moving forward, I will continue to work tirelessly to bring great beers to consumers across the nation. B. Whitworth, CEO, Anheuser-Busch. So that was the apology that was um, was issued last night by uh, Anheuser Busch. Okay. Now you might be wondering, isn't it really weird for a beer company to issue an apology for doing a single ad with a random, non-offensive trans person, like like a a trans person who just does life stuff? Isn't that kind of a really really weird thing? to have happen? Well, you wouldn't be wrong for saying that, okay? You wouldn't be wrong at all for saying that that's a really, really weird thing to have happen. And let me perhaps provide some context that may inform why such an apology was ultimately issued. Budweiser targeted by bomb threats as right-wing snowflakes keep raging over Dylan Mulvaney collab. 
On Thursday, April 13th, the Anheuser-Busch Budweiser factory in Van Nuys, Los Angeles was the target of a bomb threat as anti-trans bigots continue to rage over the beer brand's collaboration with TikTok star Dylan Mulvaney. According to an Anheuser-Busch employee, this is not the only facility to have received a recent bomb threat. Patch reported that several Budweiser factories have been targeted in this way, although exactly how many is unclear at the time of reporting. Following the threat, the Los Angeles Police Department confirmed that a bomb squad unit had indeed conducted a sweep of the Van Nui factory com campus. LAPD Lieutenant Leticia Ruiz uh, told Patch News that a emailed bomb threat was received at around 9 a.m. on Thursday, leading to the dispatch of a bomb squad unit. Lieutenant Ruiz said there was a search that was conducted in the premise of the building, but no, but there was no bombs identified as a threat. We did assist in clearing the perimeter of the building. What sparked these threats of mass violence? Budweiser has been at the center of a bigoted backlash since April 1st when Broadway actor and social media influencer Dylan Mulvaney posted a Instagram video revealing a special can, a single special can of Bud Light with her face on it in honor of celebrating her 365 days of womanhood. She transitioned a year ago. Anti-trans social media users shared photos and videos of themselves pouring away or binning the beer. Self-described conservative dad is brewing his own anti-woke beer, and Trump-supporting musician Kid Rock filmed himself shooting four large bo boxes of Bud Light with an assault weapon. Kid Rock's tantrum attracted criticism from comedian Rosie O'Donnell and radio and TV host uh, Howard Stern. In the introduction to her Onward podcast on Tuesday, April 11th, O'Donnell slammed Kid Rock's pathetic shooting stunt and confirmed that queer and trans people do, in fact, drink beer too. She said beer companies have been supportive of the LGBTQIA community for decades. This is not the first time. Who do you think sponsors Pride? Gay people, trans people. We drink beer too, man. Put down your gun, Kid Rock. It's in bad taste, especially after what happened at the school in Nashville. Howard Stern addressed the shooting video in the Monday, April 10 episode of his show with an inclusive message of LGBTQ plus support. The radio host expressed a desire to ask Kid Rock why a trans woman partnering with a beer company is so triggering for him. I thought there must be a piece of this story that I'm missing, Stern said. I'm not bothered by gay people or trans people. They don't impact my life. They don't hurt my life. I love it when people are in love. You want to be a woman? Be a woman. You want to be a dude? Be a dude. Be whatever the fuck you want. As long as you ain't hurting anybody, I'm on your team. I wish I could call Kid Rock and have him come on the show and tell me, why are you so upset about this? How is it hurtful? I don't know why he got so upset. Despite the transphobic backlash, financial magazine The Street reported on Monday that An Anheuser-Busch stock has vaulted to 52-week highs. Now... There's a whole bunch of, of people who have now reacted, of course, to the, uh, <laughs> to the, uh, the apology that was issued. Now, personally, I think that the apology was kind of funny in that the apology didn't actually apologize for anything at all. Um, however, when your company is receiving bomb threats, I can completely understand why it might be necessary um, to issue some sort of statement uh, uh, that would hopefully keep your employees safe. However, personally, I don't think the answer is uh, is 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 like sort of giving any leeway to the side that is sending bomb threats over the fact that a single trans person got a special can of Bud Light. Now, if you've ever. Uh, uh, considered uh, or, or thought about whether maybe trans people, if they just seem normal, or maybe if trans people stay chill and don't get too political, maybe the conservatives will leave them alone. This event right here should show you that there is no chance on earth that that will happen. For approximately two weeks total now, conservative news organizations have been freaking out about this. And it again, it's gotten to the point of bomb threats. It's gotten to the point of people shooting guns at Bud Lights while ranting about how horrible and evil Dylan Mulvaney is and how Dylan Mulvaney is going to be the end of American civilization. 
Conservatives in America are, uh, they are totally incapable of, of even acknowledging that there are people who are slightly different than them. And the current, uh, the current uh, attitude in the conservative movement is nothing short of raw hate. That's it. They hate every trans person for being trans, okay? It doesn't matter how clean or how uh, edgy you are. It doesn't matter how nice or how mean you are. They hate trans people for being trans. And this is, of course, hardly the only uh, 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 a controversy that right-wing Americans are getting themselves uh, so unbelievable, like shakingly triggered over. Uh, we're going to have to talk about two other issues pertaining to trans people today, um, uh, which if you're watching this in the future on YouTube, keep an eye out on my video feed by pressing subscribe and ringing the bell so you can see the other videos I'll be doing talking about similar topics that are you know, slightly different. Uh, but if you're here now live, of course, you'll be able to enjoy afterwards. Um, yeah, everybody, go ahead, say hi, YouTube, everybody. Um, yeah, uh, it is uh, It is a, certainly a time to be alive in America. Um, and the weirdest thing is that uh, it doesn't actually, like, like this trans hate stuff doesn't even seem to be winning them any sort of popular support. Um, but personally, I don't think that's the point. Uh, I don't think they care. I mean, they got clapped in the elections. Um, as far as polling is concerned, uh, every everyday conservatives uh, are tired of hearing about wokeness. They're they're tired of hearing about uh, how bad gay and trans people are. They're, uh, they don't get it. They don't understand it. Um, but uh, that has never mattered. To the conservative movement because the conservative movement is not a populist movement the conservative movement is not a democratic movement the conservative movement is in america a hate movement it is a movement about punishing and driving out uh, uh any marginalized people that don't ally with their worldview it is about creating a a environment in which you cannot speak freely about things that they disagree with and it always has been. They've been like this about black people. They're like this about immigrants. They're still like this about black people. They are, uh, they're like this about gay people. They're like this about trans people. They don't care what's popular. They don't care uh, 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 what's, what's constitutional. They don't care about free speech. They care about getting their way. And their way just so happens to say that trans people are bad, uh, uh, gay people are bad, black people aren't as good as white people in their minds, and that immigrants are also bad. That's, that is their worldview. They, uh, they align around build the wall. They align around banning Muslims. They aligned around banning, uh, 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 you know, uh, banning, uh, uh, trans and in the past gay people from the military even though those aren't popular policies. They're not popular even uh, among the conservative rank and file, the everyday voter. They are popular, however, in the movement. They are popular top down. And what they're hoping to do is to radicalize as many people as they can into being derangedly prejudiced. They want to create more people who are as hateful as them. And if you don't believe me, I mean, just take a moment to look at some of these responses. I want to show you somebody special, okay? All right, let me just show you real quick. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to show you real quick. So here we go. Here is uh, one of the most popular conservative influencers, Tim Pool. Now, obviously, we already know that Tucker Carlson already had a meltdown about it. But this was yesterday, okay? That reminds me, don't buy any Anheuser-Busch products. They must apologize. This is not enough. They must apologize. This is not an apology. Apologize. And the question always, of course, is for what? What are they asking for an apology for? Now, I'll remind you that after the uh, horrific shooting that occurred, a explicitly uh, homophobic and transphobic shooting that occurred in Colorado Springs earlier uh, this year. 
Um, Tim Pool's first response to that shooting was to say, maybe they shouldn't have been grooming kids. Now, of course, no child grooming actually occurred. There was no grooming, no children were harmed, no children were groomed in any way. And he was willing on the spot to excuse a targeted shooting on a gay bar in, in the name, maybe they shouldn't groom kids. So the answer becomes pretty clear when you have uh, uh, popular, influential conservative figures like the whining, shivering, blubbering child, Tim Poole, saying, demanding, they must apologize for the sheer uh, 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 madness of having a single uh, shout out and a single special can for one very famous trans person. Absolutely off the chain, okay? Sounds like, like a woke mob to me. You guys have to understand, this is the conservative movement in America. This has always been the conservative movement in America. They are the, they are the worst people. I mean, they're insufferable, okay? Um, the, the, the conservative movement in America is literally constantly pl clutching their pearls uh, until their hands bleed, okay? These people faint about everything. They're the most, you guys, do you guys, every year we talk about the, uh, the, the war on Christmas, um, which weirdly enough, the war on Christmas stuff has kind of toned down in recent years, but for the entirety of the 90s and early 2000s, every single Christmas, all of the news stations, every conservative news channel, every conservative influencer would run hour after hour whining that somebody dared say happy holidays to them because it turns out Christmas isn't the only holiday that's celebrated in December. Uh, Hanukkah and Kwanzaa are also celebrated in December and some people want to be friendly to their neighbors who celebrate Kwanzaa or Hanukkah. Conservatives are the most triggered people ever. They are perpetually projecting that other people are more triggered than them, but no one has ever been more triggered than the conservative movement in America. They are offended by, uh, uh, they are offended by uh, 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 beer ads. They're offended by M&Ms. They're offended by Hershey's. Well, can we even remember all the things that they've been having a public meltdown over this year? There was Hershey's. There was the M&Ms. They were mad that the M&Ms went broke. They couldn't decide whether the Mario movie went woke or, or not. They freak out over everything. All they do is bitch and moan and whine. That's it. Harry Styles in a dress, Mr. Potato Head. Uh, they made up stuff about cat boxes. They made up all these stories. They're deranged. They're insufferable and they're impossible to be around. You know, the one thing that gives me any hope about the current state of things in America is the fact that the average person, most people can't stand people like this. Most people out there truly can't stand being around people who are so triggered that they have a hissy fit, that the entire media network of, of, of an entire political branch has a, a meltdown over a single can of beer. They just, they're insufferable. And if you're one of the people uh, out there who has like relatives who are this type of conservative, which I do, I, I, uh, I, I've told my story many times of being completely and utterly disowned just for coming out as trans. Uh, most of my family stopped speaking to me once they found out that I was trans. I'm not kidding you. I've told that story on stream before. I'm not gonna tell the whole story here. However, most of you out there, if you've ever met one of these family members who's tuned into these things, they're insufferable. Nobody can stand them. Nobody can stand to be around somebody who sees that you have a can of beer of, of, of Bud Light in your fridge and then goes, get that woke shit out of my face. You know that they put D Dylan Mulvaney, they're bringing down America. It's gonna be the end of America. Ah! Oh, I can't believe you'd buy Bud Light and you're trying to offend me. 
They come over to your house and you hand them a, a mug of hot chocolate for Christmas and the mug happens to say happy holidays on it and they start shivering and going, oh, I, can't, I can't believe you'd betray the Christian. I can't believe you'd betray God for giving me this mug. And they start freaking out. You can't have a conversation with them. You can't spend time with them. You can't enjoy anything with them because they're the most triggered fucking people on the planet. Literal fucking panic attacks over the wrong flavor of beer. Oh yeah, the Gillette thing. They freak the fuck out about the Gillette thing too. They literally cannot even imagine a world in which anyone is not exactly like them. And of course, they're always miserable. These people are always, to a man, the most miserable people on the planet. They are not happy people. They're angry all the time. They're pissed off. They're grumbling. They're socially isolated because nobody can stand to be around them because they yell and freak out and, and pass judgment on everybody else. It's miserable. Conservatives in this country are miserable and they always have been. Their worldview is a mind prison. And if you're wondering why would anybody choose to be like that, well, the sad thing is they don't always choose 100% to be like that. They get fooled and worn down. They are people who don't know how to deal with their anger. They don't know how to process uh, their complex emotions th uh, about people that are different than them. And they are constantly enabled by the media around them. People like Tim Poole, Matt Walsh, uh, uh, Tucker Carlson, uh, uh, what's that stupid blubbering asshole, uh, Bill O'Reilly. He's kind of, he's kind of, he's like 90 years old now, but he's still around. Um, these people spend every day ensuring that these people never grow, that they never have a moment of human growth. They spend their whole lives as quiver, as qu like more scared than children. It's a, it's a sick way to be. But unfortunately, a lot of people fall into it and they are trapped in it because of the propaganda machine that is propped up by people like them who happen to have a lot of money. Keep in mind, this is not any sort of uh, organic thing. Like I said, uh, if it wasn't for t conservative news organizations, no one would have cared about this beer. Literally, no one was hurt by it. Not a single person in any way. Not, not even, even if you are a Christian and you believe that, that trans people are not correct, no one was harmed by this incident. If it had not been for the conservative outrage machine, no one would have even known it happened. It would have just been fans of Dylan Mulvaney would have been happy. Fans of Bud Light, some of the fans of Bud Light would have been happy and that would have been it. Bud Light would have made a couple more sales. And the truth is, they're still doing fine. All of the conservatives uh, were literally lying. They're like, oh, Bud Light lost $6 billion. And of course that's not true at all. You can actually just go look right now. Or sorry, uh, Anheuser. Let's look up the stock right now. Let's take a look at their stock price and let's see if the conservatives were lying. Uh, 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 a bunch of the, the headlines that we looked at earlier were talking about how much money, um, how much money uh, Anheuser uh, Bush lot, lot lost. But let's take a look real quick. Let's just take a look. Let's look at their, let's look at their one month, okay? Here you go. Here's them at the beginning of March or at the end of March, they were way down at $60. Now, they're up at $64. Now remember, the ad campaign happened here. The outrage started almost immediately. They had a small dip, and now they're back up. They are higher than they were before the ad campaign started. But every single conservative on the planet will tell you that they went woke and went broke, okay? But they're actually making, their, their stock value went up by four dollars, no, almost five dollars a share since they since they launched this ad campaign at the end of the month. Okay, just keep that in mind. The conservative news machine in America is a mass derangement device. It is making people stupider. It is making people angrier, and it is propagating an environment of hate in this country that is based completely off of fiction. It's a fantasy. It is like. Uh, like orcs and goblins. 
I've said this before, but it would literally be better if if every conservative in America just started believing that Lord of the Rings was a documentary. We would live in a we would live in a better country. Um, they they believe in a complete fantasy world that just so happens to tell them that they have to hate their loved ones, that they have to reject their own children, that they have to disown their family, that they have to shoot their own beer cans, that they have to be angry every single day. They need to throw out their Nikes. They need to throw out their uh, Captain Crunch. They need to throw out their beer, all this shit. It's a never ending machine of panic and rage. And do you wanna know what the end goal is? The end goal is terror. The end goal is hatred. That's it. There's no other there's no other reason for it. That is what they want. They want a populace that is scared and angry at trans people, scared and angry at Muslims, scared and angry at black people, scared and angry at immigrants. Because if they do that, then they can encourage, they can have the chance that some of those people will do something terrible. They have, they have the chance that some of these gun-toting freaks who also happen to hate trans people will do something crazy. That's what they want. It's always been what they wanted. I've said this many times, but that we will never have a, a better world until the conservative movement in America is roundly defeated. And I believe that. I don't care who you are. Uh, I don't care if you're a centrist, a liberal, a leftist, uh, something else. Whatever you are, if you're not a conservative, conservatives are standing in your way. They're choking the planet. They're propagating hate. They're spinning their followers off into a deranged fantasy world. Conservative and the American conservative movement is like an albatross hanging around the neck of the entire world. They make this world worse. And they don't even, they're not even cool about it. They're not even like a movie villain. They're a bunch of stupid losers blowing up their own beer cans, uh, uh, dumping, dumping their shoes into, the, into their, their toilet. It's fucking pathetic. If these people had total control over America as they wish, America would be a totally miserable place. The places they have control over are miserable. They are miserable. The places that conservatives control are miserable places to live. And everybody there knows it. There are tons of people who love their home states, but who can't stand to be there because it's completely taken over by conservative politics, because it's become a miserable or a completely unsafe place to be. How many, how many people, I mean, God, how many people in my chat alone can't like couldn't stay in their home state because it was just way too common to encounter blatant, blatant homophobia. You can't just live your life. They say they want they want everybody just to live their life and whatever, and yet they're constantly invading everything. They're invading everyone's lives. They go after trans people like crazy. And we're actually about to talk about that. We're about to talk about the whole Mr. Beast, uh, Mr. Beast, Chris Tyson situation which is an example of conservatives going insane and digging into somebody's private life and going off the rails just because that person happens to be a type of person that they don't like. I can never go back to my home state because of how conservative its politics are. Yep. I'm a Texan in exile in Oregon. I miss my home, but I can't go back. Yep. And it's not just trans people, it's not just gay people, it's not just Muslims, not just black people. It's everybody who's not a Trumper white guy Christian. If you're not a rich Trumper white guy Christian, you're gonna be miserable in a red state. And guess what? Even the rich Trumper white guy, uh, uh, well, I can't even remember what the last thing I said, straight, whatever, even those guys are miserable. They spend their whole lives being pissed off about everybody else in their life, getting mad about beer, and Hershey's chocolate and M&M's. It's a miserable existence. Anyway, that's all I have to say on this particular issue. So if you enjoyed uh, this little breakdown of the Bud Light uh, ultra conservative anti-woke beer, uh, uh, woke protective beer goggles, if you enjoyed all that, if you had a fun time, press that like button down below and make sure you don't forget to press subscribe and please, 
leave a comment. I want to hear your thoughts. Even small comments, even just an emoji as a comment means the world to me and helps me grow my channel so I can talk about things that aren't so as an so annoying, that aren't so stressful as conservatives whining and shuddering and literally shaking and going because they saw a beer that they don't like. Press like, press subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks for being here, my lovely imps.